He instructed Focus to report publicly everything else that had happened, but to say nothing about two matters. His own tactics, and the fact that some of the men from the Tureme were still alive. Then he went to Callerhoe, looking sad. Next he called together the country folk and interrogated them, so that his wife could learn what had happened, and consequently be confirmed in her despair over Charius. They all came and reported what they knew. Barbarian brigands swept down from somewhere during the night and burned a Greek Tureme, that had anchored offshore the day before. At daybreak, we saw the sea stained with blood and dead bodies being tossed about by the waves. When his wife heard that, she tore her clothing, beat at her eyes and cheek, and ran into the house she had first entered when she was sold. Dionysus let her emotions take their course. He was afraid he would make a nuisance of himself if he forced his presence on her. So he told everyone to leave. Plangon alone was to sit with her to make sure she did herself no harm. When Calarho managed to be by herself, she sat on the ground, poured dust over her head, tore her hair, and began her lament. I prayed to die before you or with you, Charias. I must in any event die after you, for what hope is left now that would keep me in life? Until now, in my misery, I reckoned, some day I shall see Charius and tell him I have suffered, all I have suffered for him. That will make me more precious to him. How full of joy he will be when he sees our son. It is all pointless now. Even my child is a useless burden now. He is fatherless, an addition to my troubles. Aphrodite, you are unjust. Only you have seen Charius. But you did not show him to me when he came. You have given that fair body into robber's hands. He sailed across the sea for your sake, and you did not take pity on him. Who could pray to such a goddess who killed her own suppliant? On a night of fear, you saw a fair young man, a lover, being murdered near you, and did not help him. You have robbed me of my comrade and countrymen, my lover and beloved my bridegroom. Give me back his, at least his body. I grant that we were born ill-starred above all others, but what wrong had that Tureme done? Even the Athenians could not take it, and it has been burned by barbarians. At this moment our parents are sitting by the sea, waiting for us to come back home. At every ship that appears on the horizon they say, Charius is coming with Calerho. They are preparing our marriage bed. Our bridal chamber is being decked out, and we do not even have a tomb of our own. Hateful sea, you brought Charius to Miletus to be murdered, and me to be sold. 